What is going on, YouTube fan? It's your boy Tony Two Times, and we back with another episode of the Baltimore Way, man. All right, now tonight episode real deep. Make sure y'all watch it to the end. It's one of the fan members, one of the subscribers. He wanted to share his story, and it's a real interesting story. You know what I mean? Bro, been through some real things, so y'all just listen to it. Check it out. Big Pat is from Baltimore, Maryland, the Park Heights area of the city, to be exact. Big Pat had a pretty normal upbringing. His mom and stepfather worked hard to give him and his siblings a good life. But Pat had a hustler spirit and soaked up the game from the Baltimore streets. Around 13 years old, he started hustling and playing with Blickies. He jumped off the porch. This would lead to him being jammed up as just a juvenile and sent to training school. Pat's parents were disappointed as they didn't allow drugs in their house and they was hard working honest people. So the judge told Pat he would have to leave the city as part of his probation. He first went down south upon his release. Then he would end up back in Maryland, but this time Coward County. Big Pat was a city dude and things was a little slow out there. But one thing he did notice that they had that Baltimore City didn't have at the time was Ready Rock. The cooked up form a girl. Pat knew if he figured out how to go back home and cook this, he would basically get rich. So he went back home and Pat's game was progressing. Money was coming in good, late 80s, early 90s, but Pat wasn't a sitting duck. He understood moving around. He would go to the Eastern Shore, DC, New York. He would get tied into other hustlers and get the product off. In his prime, in the prime of the game, he rubbed shoulders with some of the biggest hustlers in these places, such as MC New York, and once Jay-Z's right-hand man, D. Haven. The world was at his feet, but Pat would get jammed up at the peak. He was only 19 years old. He would receive a long prison sentence. While incarcerated, he lost his parents and grandmother, which hit him hard and he realized the street life was taking more from him than it gave. So he decided to work on bettering himself and Pat figured out he could come back to Baltimore and get back to the community he took from. It could be his redemption. So he came up with a program called Blow, short for Brothers Learn Other Ways. And after almost 20 years in prison, Big Pat would be released at 48 years old. More mature, and on a new journey, Pat came out even getting a job at a drug treatment program. While trying to build his own program, being used to money can be a good or bad thing. Good because you can't be impressed easily. Bad because you're accustomed to a certain kind of lifestyle. Pat wanted nothing more but to do right and help his people and leave the past behind him. But as time went, he noticed the streets changed. Things were expensive. The Baltimore streets weren't the same as he remembered. He figured with the connections he had, he could make an extra couple of dollars on the side to build and grow his program just a little faster. Nothing major, but once a hustler, always a hustler. And before Pat knew it, he was making big money. And even though he was still working, he was living a double life. And in big Pat style, he moved around to other cities and states, getting money. But the game had changed. A guy would get arrested in North Carolina and throw Pat's name to the feds. At the time, Pat didn't even know the guy. He never did any business with him, nothing like that. But he was connected to a guy that he was dealing with out of D.C. The feds was curious who this guy was, who was Big Pat. So they would start tracking Pat's phone and also just watching him. At this point, his program was almost to a start. Before the feds would go off, they would find cell phones and text messages which they seen Pat's name in. Even though he really never said anything, he would only say, meet me here or meet me there, saying spots and locations that just gave the feds some leverage for a raid. They were running Big Pat's home and found the blicky, shells, a vest, a scale, paraphernalia, 
money counter, and 500000 in cash. After almost a year investigation, Pat was snatched up. They alleged he had 320 phone calls and texts, but only one call that linked him to anything. Although he didn't get caught with anything, any product, they alleged Pat sold and trafficked over one ton of smack and girl in Baltimore, Covert County, PG County, and other places. Pat was convicted of 800 grams, three doves, and a blicky, and received 10 years. He only wanted to help and do right, but he realized the game is over. He knows you can't do both and live a double life, even with good intentions. Pat's message is not trying to glorify nothing and let the streets know it's two sides to every coin. You can't chase two rabbits going in opposite directions. He has been locked up almost his whole life and feels like he lost more than just his freedom. Blow is still in the working and Pat will be home real soon. This time he finished with the game completely and just want to focus on helping the community. Man, free Pat, man. You know, he reached out to me. Real good, brother. We talked, we conversated. And you know, he just let me know he wanted to get his message out to the streets because he felt like he was locked up from 19 to 48, almost 20 years. And he came out here and he was trying to do right. He was working at uh, Gardenzia. I think that's the name of the treatment place. I'm sure everybody know where that's at. You feel me? And um, he was doing good, but he had blow. His program he was working on. Brothers learn other ways. You know what he was going to be working in the community, bringing the community together. But he wanted to get off the ground a little faster than it was moving. So he just felt like he could go make a few dollars. Nothing major, just do something on the side. But it took off. And then he was going to other states, other places. And when you rubbing shoulders with dudes, you really don't know like that. It get tricky. You know what I mean? Thank the most high. The worst didn't happen because a lot of people get hit up like that. But you know he did go back to prison for additional 10 years. You know? But he should be coming home soon, man. I just feel like it's a story to let people know. You can't go back to old habits expecting the same results. You got to let it go. You know? If Pat would have just focus on his program, he still could have got it. It might have took a little longer, but just think about it. Now he had to go do the 10 years, so now he still got set back, but he still going to make it happen. Y'all make sure y'all go show some love and support. Y'all go check him out on IG, you know what I mean? But yeah, man, I just feel like this was a good story. I appreciate, bro, for letting me tell his story, choosing me. Y'all make sure y'all leave comments, any questions. Y'all hit him up. I'll make sure he check out the... um. The comment session. I love y'all fam. I'm out.